Hello Leo, this is Carrie from Celestial Forecasts with a reality check on your connection. Let's have a real talk as to what's going on in this partnership and what they need you to know right now or what is it that they're not telling you or what is it that you need to tell them. So let's take a look at that here today. General, as always, it will not resonate with every single person. So please do take from this reading what makes sense for you personally. Release the rest. If you are interested in your own reading, that information, as always, it's down below in the description box. I'll include a link to all of the decks that you see here today. Leo, cross watchers, always welcome. So let's begin. These are my two self-created ones, the Heart and Soul Love Oracle. We'll grab a card from there. We'll grab a card from the Silhouettes deck and then we'll grab one from the Moonology card deck. All right, so let's begin and see where this goes for you. Angels and Spirit Guides, please, for Leo. Let's take a look at the reality of what it is that you are dealing with currently. We've got Broken. Okay, so this card says, I ran away from you because I was afraid. I've given my heart before, and my heart was broken. I don't know how not to run. All I do is run from love. I've gotten so used to the pain, I'm almost numb to it. Maybe, just maybe, I'll give it one more try. So either this is your own energy coming through, Leo, or a person that you're thinking about. If it's someone else, and if they were broken by other people through past heartbreak, other relationships that they've endured that ended badly... This is them telling you that despite all of that, that they're really working on focusing on the two of you and willing to give this one more try. Even though they might be really afraid of getting hurt, they're willing to give love one more try for you. Okay, so let's add to this. And of course, you could resonate with that for yourself. Angels and spirit guides, please, for Leo. Okay, so let's grab a card from here. I'm guided to this one. We have dirty, okay? And it does say, you knew what you were getting into. Now clean it up. So this, of course, could apply to either of you, Leo, where you might have gotten yourself entangled in a situation. There could have been trust issues. There could have been infidelities. There, of course, could have been third-party situations, but it can apply to so much more than just that. So whatever it was, either yourself or your person got into, whoever it is, you both individually have to clean up the mess that you might have created. Okay, so whatever that might imply. Let's go ahead and grab one more card. Let's take a look and see what the energy of the moon is for this reading. Angels and spirit guides, please, for Leo. I'm guided to this card. We've got the new moon in Aquarius. So maybe for some of you guys, your person could be an Aquarian or you could have Aquarius in your chart. Bring love into the situation. Okay. So if, for example, you got your hands dirty by getting yourself involved with a third party situation, just as an example, if there was no love there, that just wasn't a situation that could endure or stand the test of time, not in love and romance. But there is somebody here who could have also experienced these things, and that's what ended up hurting them, because they ended up perhaps falling in love with somebody who wasn't looking for love, who wasn't looking for a commitment, but they were. Okay, so maybe here they are getting ready to offer their heart to you, Leo, ready to bring that love into this situation with you. Okay, so let's take a look and see how it unfolds here for this reading. Okay, so this is the perfect deck for this style reading. It's called Twin Flame Reality Check. That is what we're looking at here today. This is by Jennifer Aquarius Tarot. All right, so Leo... What else do you need to know when it comes to what's going on in this connection? What you need to know, what they're not sharing with you, what you're not sharing with them. Just overall reality check for what's happening here. Angels and spirit guides. Someone's a spoiled brat. 
if you knew better, you'd do better. Okay, so I feel part of your life's history, Leo, could have been that you got your hands dirty before, you learned from it, you now know better, you cleaned up your mess, you know, if you resonate with this for yourself, maybe you just had everything handed to you on a silver platter, take that if it applies, or that's your person right here, this individual, that they could have certainly grown up in a household where everything was handed to them, where they grew up in a wealthy household, perhaps, or they're just really spoiled in how they have been brought up is what I'm getting from that. And therefore, they exude this energy of a spoiled brat. But I'm kind of feeling here for you, Leo, that there's a lot that you've learned from through certain experiences that you have had, certainly in your love life. I'm just getting you cleaned up whatever mess you got yourself into. And maybe this person has done the same. You know, they could have been a spoiled brat, but maybe now they know better. And they themselves have leveled up and maybe matured a little bit more. And they could have changed. Be careful with what you say, okay? So be mindful of how you convey your thoughts to this person, and they as well might have to be very careful with how they say whatever it is that they're feeling towards you. And there's this need to just tell each other the truth, expressing truths. As long as you guys are being authentic with each other, I feel you guys will be okay. We do have fun, okay? Game night. Some of you guys might be dealing with somebody who loves to play games. Whenever I see that, it reminds me of like a one of those controllers for like an Xbox or a PlayStation or one of those little handheld games type things. That might be your person who's really into that or it could be you. And just rem remembering the fun times that you guys have shared. Look at this. I choose you followed by a new path. So there's been a shift in the energy here that I'm feeling, Leo, that this could have been either a part of how you were before, getting yourself in situations that you knew, you know or knew wasn't good for you and you've learned from that. And maybe they have as well. So I'm just getting here that time maturity has possibly changed both of you to where you're now ready for a new chapter a new beginning, certainly when it comes to this love connection, and you guys are at a point where you're ready for this new direction, going in a new path together, hopefully, and they're coming through here letting you know that they choose you, Leo. You could be choosing them as well. Bring love into the situation, as it says. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at some additional guidance. So this could be for those of you who are not together, who are in separation, who might have been ghosted. Take that only if it makes sense for you. So this is a deck by Angelic Revelation 144. I just got spooked why I ghosted. So let's take a look. Angels and spirit guides, please, for Leo. Real talk, reality check. What is it that you need to know? Angels and spirit guides, please. It would be suicide to reply right now. Okay? So if you've reached out to them, Leo, maybe they know that it's just not a good time to reply. It depends, of course, on what their mental state is right now. You know, they could still be feeling broken or they might have just been in the process of cleaning up whatever mess they got themselves into. Let's see what else. They could also be in denial when it comes to their feelings. Either of you could be. Let's see. What else, please, for Leo? Sneaking away. Okay. This could have been a part of their patterns, Leo, you know, especially since, again, we're starting off with somebody who tends to run away from love because of heartbreak, past heartbreak, 
people that hurt them. They want to be able to give love one more try. But, you know, you might, for some of you, be dealing with somebody who's not quite ready. And maybe they're just afraid to be upfront to tell you that. So rather than facing the music, so to speak, they're just kind of quietly sneaking away and just not interacting with you. So if you've reached out to someone and if they're not responding, that could be a part of the reason they're shying away from it. But of course, for some of you guys, you, you might have been dealing with somebody who was sneaky. Getting themselves entangled into situations where they get their hands dirty. Sneaking away because they're ashamed of something that they have done. Interesting. We have a hidden offer. So they're, they want to be able to offer something to you, Leo, but they're not sharing it with you right now. And we are focusing on a reality check, the real talk between the two of you and possibly what it is that they are not telling you right now. And then we've got too much power. Okay, so maybe they know that you kind of hold all the cards in your hands, that you have this power over them, and maybe they're just not ready for all of this intensity. And then we've got Scared Crow, so they're afraid. They're, they're still afraid. They're still broken. They want to be able to give their heart to you. They want to be able to give their love to you. They do choose you. They want this new direction, this new beginning. And maybe someday they'll be able to open up and tell you how they're really feeling. But I, I'm getting for some of you guys that you might be interacting with somebody or in separation from someone that's just unable to come towards you at this time because of their fears. So that's something that they're going to have to figure out for themselves, you know? So let's go ahead and add some tarot to this and see what else. Actually, I'm going to pull from my other deck. I'm going to pull from my modern day Seer's Tarot and Oracle Tarot with a twist. So the twist, if you're not familiar here, guys, is the new Oracle messages, new court cards, in addition to all of the traditional tarot cards. What do we have? We've got the death card. So for some of you guys, maybe your person is a Scorpio. So there are certain cycles here that need to end. And it could also be that your person who's broken might need to release their hold on the past when it comes to past heartbreak. But, you know, you can't force somebody to let go of those attachments. They're going to have to do it all on their own. Okay, they're going to have to create the transition and transformation and make the necessary changes in their own life. They're going to have to get past whatever has happened to them before you know maybe they just feel like they fail at love which is why they're shying away from you maybe and sneaking away from you without really expressing to you or telling you what's really going on eventually they're going to have to express their truth to you and i feel someday you'll find out what's really happening in their heart but you know just have a little bit of patience with this person because they're really struggling to just tell you how they're feeling this is interesting. We've got Archangel Gabriel. I am the angel known as the master of communication. If you're having trouble expressing yourself to your beloved, I'm here to assist. I can inspire writers, teachers, journalists, and artists to convey their messages with clarity and grace. But of course, I mean, if you're not a writer, teacher, journalist, or artist, that doesn't mean that this can't apply to you. I can help you overcome your limitations so you can finally say the right thing to the right person at the right time. If you struggle with conveying your emotions, call on me. I will be there for you. Perfect. Okay, so this person who's struggling to speak and tell you how they're really feeling, Archangel Gabriel is here to help them through. Love it. Much needed. What else, please, for Leo, for the reality check of this connection? We've got the Seven of Swords, you know, so I'm not surprised to see that considering we do have dirty hands right here. You knew what you were getting into, now clean it up. So there were scenarios here where there could have been cheating, 
just betraying people, you know, lies, secrets, risky behavior is what the Seven of Swords is all about. Some of you guys could have been dealing with an air sign, a Libra, Aquarius, or a Gemini. So that could be why they're broken, because somebody betrayed them and hurt them that way. So I love how the Three of Wands is here, Leo, because first of all, this is your own fire energy. So this is about looking ahead, looking ahead towards the future and what could possibly be between you and this person. It could be a long distance romance. You know, I see a bridge here. They could live somewhere where there's a very prominent bridge. It always reminds me of San Francisco or even New York, but you know, wherever they might be. Um, this is a card where, interestingly, interestingly enough, somebody might be thinking of moving abroad. If you live abroad, they might eventually end up moving to where you're at, which would certainly make this connection a whole lot easier especially if this was at one point in time a long distance romance that could have also been an added challenge that could be the new path for some of you guys where finally you'll be in close proximity to each other but there's growth here for the two of you that certainly is possible this is about planning for the future maybe hopefully together we do have the angel of hope okay that could be this person here that needs this hope You've lost your way, your sense of direction, which way is up, which way is down, which way takes you away from who you are and which way shows you the path you're meant to travel. This is not the end. I'm here to help restore the faith within you to let you know that there is a ray of sunshine, a glimmer of hope that you fail to see. Open your eyes. I am here. So I really feel this assistance and help coming in for this person who's broken. Okay, so I'm feeling it more so for obviously someone, someone that you are thinking about for this reading. But if you apply these messages to yourself, if that's how you're feeling, you've got Archangel Gabriel here to help you with communication and the Angel of Hope here to help you find your way. So lay down those heavy burdens attached to past baggage that either you're carrying or this person is carrying. Painful breakups through betrayal, backstabbing with that Ten of Swords. So no wonder if it's this individual who's broken, maybe that's why it's so difficult for them to just be open to love because who wouldn't be in this type of energy, apprehensive and afraid, you know, to allow love back in. But I feel in time, Leo, they will let you in. You just got to be a little bit patient and let them come to you when they really are ready. And I love the next two cards coming up. We've got the Angel of Mercy. Life has brought you down to your knees. The universe shows you mercy. The love you've been searching for, yearning for, has eluded you thus far. I'm here to let you know that it's time to rise, to get back up. Claim your ascension within your own life to help you take that first step towards a brighter future. Absolutely. And hopefully that brighter future is with you. And lastly, Archangel Michael. All of these angels coming through in this reading, Leo, it's beautiful. So I am your warrior angel to help you fight your fears when it comes to manifesting your dreams and finding love. Countless romantic connections turn into missed opportunities because we allow our fears to create barriers. I'm here to help you overcome these challenges. I can offer you the guidance you seek as well as the strength and bravery to act on that guidance. Bravery isn't the absence of fear, but the ability to act in spite of it. If you're struggling with your nerves to pursue your love interest, and that love interest here is you, Leo, this person needs to call an archangel Michael. Okay, so they're afraid for now. They're coming through as this scared crow. But look at all these angels coming to their aid to help them through. So I feel you guys still have a fighting chance here at coming together and being happy. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab some messages here. I'm going to pull from the Heart Space Oracle. So let's see here. What is it that you guys want to say to each other? The reality check of the situation of this connection. Angels and spirit guides, please, for Leo. Who needs to speak up here? Because I'm kind of feeling here, Leo, that they're really into you, but they're just afraid to get hurt. So maybe, as it says, they're really being very careful with 
what what it is that they say to you maybe they're just holding back because they don't want to invest too much they're not ready look at this and maybe this is you saying just say it just say it already look at this next card what are you waiting for but you got to be patient because they've they're going through a lot and so we've got so many angels coming to their aid to help them out okay so just hang in there i feel eventually they will express their truth their love to you you've only scratched the surface of what is in my heart for you so i mean i really do feel that they they care for you they love you even though we can't be together right now i can still remember the last time we made love you make my heart race with desire for you still so if you guys have been intimate together and not together right now they're still focusing on that remembering the good times that you guys have shared and those intimate moments look at this you're mine so they still want you and maybe this is you as well letting them know it's like i choose you you're mine and i'm willing to wait for you to come towards me when you're ready okay so that's where i'm gonna leave this one leo i do hope whatever part of this made sense for you helps you out and if you're interested in your own reading that info is down below that's it for now guys thank you so much and i'll see you next time